Today we're going to be doing some hiking. Let's get out in the woods. We have made it to the Sunrise parking lot. It is 6.30 in the morning and a scorching 43 degrees. <laughs> it is cold up here, but uh, we made great time. It's not even 7 a.m. yet and we're already to the parking lot. That is what I love, early mornings, early starts, get the day going. One of my friends, he was one of my old coworkers, he is actually meeting me up here today for this hike. And he just texts me and he's about 30 to 40 minutes behind me. So I'm just gonna hang out here for a little bit and probably do a little bit of reading. So, um, which reminds me that I was gonna start doing a little series like a Bible thought of the day series. So let's do one for the day. So Bible thought of the day for today's adventure. I recently went to church and the main like punchline of that service was don't keep reminding God about sins that he's already chosen to forgive and forget. So what that means is that when we do inevitably sin, because we are humans, we make mistakes, it is in our nature, 
We are imperfect, and that is why Jesus died for us in the first place. Is when we do sin, yes, we want to ask for forgiveness. We want to repent. That is what Jesus died for, to forgive us. It is finished. But then we want to continue to move forward after that. We want to keep leaning into Jesus, praying to Jesus, worshiping Jesus, and just keep moving forward even after we have made those mistakes. Because Jesus has already died for those sins and God has already forgiven us. It is finished. The Bible says it is finished. So those sins do not define us and do not dictate who we are. And so that's the most important thing is, yes, we are going to sin. And yes, we want to repent. We want to ask for forgiveness. We want to live a better life after that. We don't want to stay there. We don't want to sulk in our shame, sulk in our guilt, and just feel like we're unworthy of, of talking to Jesus or praying to Jesus or worshiping Jesus after that. Because that's exactly what the devil would want us to do. That's exactly what the enemy would want us to do is to stay in our guilt, stay in our shame, feel like we're unworthy to talk to Jesus, unworthy to come to Jesus in worship or, to, or in prayer. The enemy wants that gap to be there. He wants us to sin, feel shame, and then no longer feel worthy enough to even talk to God, approach God, pray to God, worship God. That is what the enemy would want, us to keep that gap there. In reality, Jesus died for us, so he closed that gap. He has forgiven us, so he's closed that gap. And so when we make those mistakes and we sin, we can ask for forgiveness, then we can be right here still, right after that, because that is what Jesus wants. He has bridged the gap and allowed us to be able to come to him no matter what. So that is the most important thing I feel like for me, is that when I do make mistakes, I want to tend to sulk and just sit there in, in my shame and then be like, oh, I, I, I can't pray to Jesus right now because I just made a mistake. I'm not in the right standing. I'm not in right living right now to pray to Jesus, but that is all wrong. I just have to ask for forgiveness, accept his gift of forgiveness and accept his gift of salvation. And then just keep moving forward. Just keep leaning into Jesus, keep praying, keep worshiping and just strengthen my spirit. And he is the one through his Holy Spirit that gives me the strength to, to live the right life, to do the right things, make the right decisions. So it is very important to not allow that gap to be there. That is what the enemy wants. The enemy wants that gap. Jesus died for us. He closed that gap. So yes, we're going to make mistakes, but ask for forgiveness, repent, and then just keep moving forward and stay close to Jesus no matter what, because he is going to be close with you. Bible thought of the day. Hopefully that's encouraging. Hopefully maybe you guys relate to that. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for today. Let's go explore the beautiful Mount Rainier and the beautiful creation that God has created for us. It's free Just finished second burrows. Yeah. Now I gotta go. You can see it on here, but you gotta go down the saddle and back up to third burrows. Like up there. So we got a little ways ahead of us.
us. But we got views the whole way. Yeah, so we just came from up there. Now we gotta go up this. It's a huge saddle right here. You go down and then back up. But Rainier is right in our lap the whole time. Fantastic. Making our way up to third burrows. It's a pretty steep climb. We have to go all the way down and then back up. Super rad terrain though. It's beautiful up here. It's like a volcanic tundra. I'll show you guys where we still gotta go. Still gotta go up this. And they'll be right there. Let's get after it. It's like straight up. It's like this. It is gnarly. Hey! Ooh. Hey! Now we have this steep part. Straight up yet again. But we're getting close. It's gonna be worth it. I hope so. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. glacier here. And we found the perfect spot to take a break and eat some food. Bust the chairs out. Bad launch view, man. Got some water boiling. just slammed my <laughs> spine, dude. Went straight to my spine. <laughs> Look at my fellas. Dang. Yeah, we saw a bunch of this. This is bigger than the rest of Oh, wow. It's actually huge. Zoom in, you can see the rocks falling. Our mountain meal. Shit. We're gonna try some Trail Topia banana oatmeal. Yeah, let's give this a try. Cheers. That's 
pretty dang good. I like using these by myself on a hard hike. It's yeah, dude. It's real easy to put away like a thousand calories. Mm. That's delicious. It's nice having a hot meal on top of a hike. It is time to head back down. A sad moment of heading down. But we spent a good hour and a half up here taking in all the views. It's gotten a lot smokier now though. Yeah, it's gonna be a bunch of smoke rolled in. It's all smoky over here. Big wildfire up north on Highway 20. Got blown in, Just blew a bunch of smoke in today. We have to go all the way down this and then back up to there and then loop back. Long ways back. Down this valley, back up, and then I'm back around that mountain. So let's get to it. And then we'll have Mount Rainier in our back around the whole way back. Made it to the bottom of the saddle. And now we have to go back up. <laughs> so now we just have to redo all the work we just did coming down, right back up. It doesn't even look real. It's like some fantasy land mountain behind me. back to the top of second burrows. Whew. Started way over there. Now we're back up here. Get a good amount of cardio in too, which I love, so it's a good day. It's a fantastic day. Almost back to first burrow. Rainy, you're still back there looking pretty. We are on the home stretch. We passed all three burrows. Now we're on the last mile back to the lot. This hike will be a total of about 10,000. About 10 miles total. Just gotta do this last little section here. So that's a hill, man. Frick. The hill's gonna suck. We have made it back to the car. Hike successful, 10 miles, 3,000 feet of gain. Beautiful, beautiful hike. This is what's next, making a cup of coffee. My Mount Rainier coffee mug. Dirt line, I can't even Good show blocks. it. My hiker's tan line. <laughs> Got a dust tan line on my leg. <laughs> that was a fantastic cup of joe. We sat in the sun, enjoyed the view a little bit longer. But now I'm obviously back in the car and we're out of here. That is all she wrote. That is the end of the hike. So that is gonna conclude this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for being here. Thanks for supporting me. Hopefully you enjoyed that little day hike. Just a typical little PNW send on a Saturday. I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys did too. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.